iPhone 5s iOS 10.3.3 versus iPhone 5s iOS 11 GM build coming up right now. Let's go. So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology and welcome to the iPhone 5s iOS 10.3.3 versus the iPhone 5s iOS 11 GM build. Let's go ahead and boot these guys up at the same time while we talk a little bit about them. So the 5s is coming up on its official release version of iOS 11 that is coming tomorrow for pretty much all iOS devices with an A7 chip and above. Sorry iPhone 5 users, you're not getting this update and I probably wouldn't want it on my iPhone 5 because it would be very slow but I'm gonna tell you right now that the iOS 11 actually I feel has slowed the iPhone 5s down and it looks like it's gonna be even slower than 10.3.3 when it does go to official so keep that in mind but we're gonna see if that's true here that's just my opinion so far based on the betas I actually haven't tested it here on the 11 GM so we're gonna see if it beats 10.3.3 here in the speed but I think the iOS 10 update slowed the iPhone 5s down as well so you can see 10.3.3 about five seconds or so ahead of 11 on the boot up okay guys so let's go ahead and confirm the softwares on both devices so i'm going to go into settings here you can see 10.3.3 there on the left if i go down to general and i go to about here you can see ios 11 15a372 there's no a there signifying this is not really a beta this is basically official now now both of these phones when they first do boot up do have a lag i'm going to show you the lag here on the 5s so it is over here where you see your widgets and boom, there's the lag. On the 5S for 10.3.3, it comes with the control center. You see that little stutter right there. I'm not sure if this one has a lag there on widgets. So 10.3.3 didn't have a lag there on widgets, but there's another lag that's present within the iOS 11 GM, and that's basically when you go ahead and press in on these control center toggles. So that is pretty slow. It's actually gonna be quite annoying, I think, when you are using this phone. You see it didn't respond there, and there it goes and okay there it goes so this was really designed for 3d touch so i don't think that this is going to run that great and that actually that feature right there is way faster on an iphone se so and this phone right now is extremely hot i'm just trying to let you guys know it's actually burning my hands up i'm probably going to place them on the table right here but you know let's go ahead and test the speed now on both devices so let's go ahead and go over in the calendar and let me close everything out here to make this just a fair test both are connected to the same wi-fi network and we're gonna see how much of a difference you get in speed. So what about calendar? So you can see 10.3.3 ahead of GM. What about calculator? And you see that was about the same. It was still slightly to 10.3.3. What about app store? And you can see app store first there for 11. So shows me up there on 11. And I think the app store on 11 actually looks way better than the one in 10. That's just my opinion. It's actually huge cards for little small iPhones, which is gonna be good for those using four inch phones. What about the phone dialers? Let's go on the phone on both. And you can see 10.3.3 way ahead of 11 there. What about weather? So you can see weather first for 10.3.3 and now 11. What about settings? So settings first there on 10.3.3, and then we have the 11 on the right. So what about Instagram, for example? And Instagram loads first there on 10.3.3. No, yeah, actually it was. It still had to do a little circle spin there on 11. So what about WhatsApp? So WhatsApp seems to be a win here for 10.3.3. And this is gonna kill 32-bit apps, by the way, so keep that in mind. What about Twitter? And you can see Twitter does go first for which one's going to win this one. It looks like they're both very slow, but I'm going to call that one to 10.3.3. You see, and it just now loaded up there on 11. So what about Facebook? So getting into Facebook here, you could see Facebook is first there on 10.3.3 and now 11. So you're seeing right here exactly what I said in the beginning of this video. It's going to be a slower performance here on 11 for your 5S. And that's kind of sad to see because, you know, I thought over the time of 10 betas, it would have got better, but we're still waiting and waiting here for 11. So let's go into Snapchat and you can see Snapchat is first. Ooh, that was close. I think that one was 11, but you know, I don't want to call this a final conclusion. We will do this test one more time when official does drop, but I don't see it getting that much faster. So that was not fair. I accidentally tapped YouTube there on 10.3.3. Let's go ahead and run YouTube again. 
and you can see it was still even faster on 10.3.3 than 11. Now let's go on the clock. Now you might say, well, Nick, I don't really care about those 0.2 seconds or whatever's difference. But when you add it up over time, it starts to make your phone feel slower when you're doing a bunch of stuff throughout the day. Add up two seconds on each one of these apps and you got yourself a good 30 or 40 seconds of your life lost basically just because you updated to a new version of the software, which is making your efficiency in your life a little bit slower. So you've seen right there, no response from the control center. It responds on the second tap. So going down, notification tray, they look pretty decent there on both. What about settings? So going into settings, I want to show you the wallpaper now. On iOS 11 GM, you do get new wallpapers in the stills. So if we go into stills, you have like these flowers and stuff like that. I just don't think that iOS 11 on the 4 on the 5S is going to give you a better performance so far. You've seen it in this video. But what about calendar? Going into multitasking, they're actually both you know holding screenshots, so they're not exactly open here but it looks like 10.3.3 is doing a better job of that process. So this is basically my conclusion here. It looks like 10.3.3 is the better software even after 10 beta. It looks like 10.3.3 is the better software even after 10 betas and the official GM as you've seen right here. Anyway, this was Nick here helping you to master your technology. I will be covering the iPhone 5S on the official iOS 11 version. So if you wanna see that, consider subscribing for that. If you found this video enjoyable, if you found this video enjoyable, helpful, click the like button for me. Consider subscribing if you are new here. Nick here helping you to master your technology. Be sure to be well and peace.